Welcome back. It took a while to get there, but the rocket that will once again send U.S. astronauts to the moon is sitting on the launch pad. As soon as the sun came up, our crew was there for an up-close look. Fox 35's Alina Shirazi says all systems are go for its dress rehearsal. Thursday evening, the rocket headed to the moon made its slow 12-hour journey to launch pad 39B, now standing tall, ready for its mission. I am just overwhelmed. I, it's been 10 years working on this, and I'm just so proud of all the people that I've been working with. It's the first time in over 50 years a moonbound rocket left the vehicle assembly building after being stacked a few months ago and rolled out onto the launch pad. Now, all that's left is a wet dress rehearsal. This is going to be for us a very, very important milestone because this is the first time we're going to take this vehicle to the launch pad and do a complete wet dress rehearsal, which sounds funny, but it's really doing a complete simulation of a launch day. But it's a costly one. Each of the first four Artemis missions have a price tag of $4.1 billion. NASA's auditor warned Congress that could be unsustainable. Christine Ramos, the business development lead for the SLS system, says it's well worth it, saying cheaper alternatives like reusable rockets wouldn't work for a mission this large. Yes, there's been a lot of money into it, but I mean, it's starting the infrastructure of deep space exploration. Now, when you have reusability, you know, it really compromises, you know, the one asset that we have, is, which is mass and weight. What we really want to focus here on this program is really um, going straight, going as far as we can with the payload that we have. Looking ahead, NASA says they're waiting to see what happens with the wet dress rehearsal before they publicly decide on a launch date. At Kennedy Space Center, Alina Shirazi, Fox 35 News.